So you want to multiply a couple of polynomials, but you're not sure where to start. The good news is you really know everything you need to in order to do this. All you're going to do is use the distributive property. What do I mean? Well, let's look at our first exercise. We have 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 4. We're going to distribute the 2x and then we're going to distribute the 3. Let's begin with the 2x. We'll take that and distribute it into the 3x minus 4. Then we'll take the second term, the 3. We'll distribute that into the 3x minus 4. Now from here we just do the actual distributing and then we combine like terms. When we do that we end up with 6x squared plus x minus 12. That's the product of 2x plus 3 and 3x minus 4. Remember, the product is the result that you get from multiplication. In exercise 2, we have 2x to the 4th plus 3x times 6x minus 4. Once again, we're going to use the distributive property twice. First to distribute the 2x to the 4th and then to distribute the 3x. Use example 1 as your guide. Please pause the video here and complete the exercise. We did our distribution and then we combined like terms where needed. We have 12x to the 5th minus 8x to the 4th plus 18x squared minus 12x. In exercise 3 we have a binomial 5x minus 3 times a trinomial 8x squared plus x minus 1. The process is identical. We'll begin by distributing the 5x. Then we'll take a look at the next term which is minus 3 and we'll distribute that. Then we can do the math. Distribute the 5x, distribute the minus 3 and we end up with 40x to the third plus 5x squared minus 5x minus 24x squared minus 3x plus 3. Combine like terms and we have 40x to the third minus 19x squared minus 8x plus 3. Exercise 4 is just like the one we just completed. You'll begin by distributing the 9x and then you'll distribute the positive 3. Please pause the video here and complete exercise 4. Remember, you can use exercise 3 as your guide. We began by distributing the 9x and then we distributed the positive 3. We ended up with negative 27x to the 4th minus 18x squared plus 81x minus 9x to the 3rd minus 6x plus 27. We combine like terms and we have negative 27x to the 4th minus 9x to the 3rd minus 18x squared plus 75x plus 27. In exercise 5 we're going to go one step further and multiply a trinomial by another trinomial. The process is still the same. We're going to use the distributive property. We begin by distributing the 4x squared. Then we distribute the minus 3x. Finally we'll distribute the 7 and now we have an expression that we can work with. It'll take a little bit of work and a little bit of care to get through this, but that's nothing we can't handle. When we do the multiplication, we end up with 12x to the 4th minus 8x to the 3rd minus 16x squared minus 9x to the 3rd plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 21x squared minus 14x minus 28. Now we can combine like terms. We end up with 12x to the 4th minus 17x to the 3rd plus 11x squared minus 2x minus 28. Once again, even though this problem was a little more involved and looked a little more tedious, all we really did was use the distributive property. Exercise 6 is the last exercise for you to try. Use exercise 5 as your guide. Please pause the video here and complete the exercise. 
we began by distributing the 3x squared, and then we distributed the 5x. Finally, we distributed the 10. When we do that, we ended up with 27x to the 4th, plus 57x to the 3rd, plus 92x squared, plus 10x, minus 60. So, here's what you need to know. If you want to multiply two polynomials, all you really have to do is use the distributive property. Sometimes you have to use the distributive property multiple times, but it's easy to work with and it's everything you need to know.